Las Vegas real estate market forecast for 2019. Las Vegas real estate market is transitioning from about two years of very tight listing inventory for residential real estate, which resulted in double digit price gains, which wouldn't have happened otherwise. However, things started to change in September and our inventory has risen sharply. In this video, we will talk about how the Las Vegas housing market affects single family homes in different price ranges and the effect is not the same in all price ranges. We will discuss the condos and townhomes market separately, warn against irrational exuberance by those who are looking for significant price drops unless we get an avalanche of new listings, and finally make a forecast for 2019. However, before we continue, we must note that Las Vegas housing market updates are like a snapshot in time, and the past 15 years have shown us that things can change very quickly. And additionally, please note that median sales price shows the median number of how much buyers are paying for houses, but it doesn't account for the square footage of houses. It is the price per square foot that shows bang for the buck and is a much better measure of whether or not home prices are going up or not. As we have shown in our luxury home market report in higher price ranges, while the median price of houses has decreased, the price per square foot is actually increasing. This means that buyers are buying in lower price ranges while paying higher prices for the same luxury houses year after year. Las Vegas real estate market forecast for single family houses. As we have always written, pricing is a function of supply or active listings inventory and demand or monthly home sales. In the past three years, the annual home sales have been hovering in the 32,000 to 34,000 range, so they have not changed much. An average of 2,667 to 2,833 houses have sold per month in the past three years. However, an average of 3,300 houses have sold from March to August in 2017, and 3,035 houses have sold in 2018 in the same period, which we will come back to later. This graph shows the active listing inventory of single-family homes versus the monthly sales. In July 2016, we had 9,900 active listings. This number fell to 8,059 listings by January 2017 and fell further to less than 5,500 by February 2018. It stayed in a narrow range until March 2018 and then started to rise very quickly. By November 2018, it rose by 60% to 8,887 before falling in December, which is expected. Months of Listing Inventory As we explained in our last video, the Las Vegas housing market may be slowing down. The best way to show supply versus demand is the months of active listing inventory, which is calculated by dividing active listings by the unit sales. Just a quick note, these charts don't have a decimal point and show 2.4 is 2 and 2.6 is 3. Additionally, in order to prevent saying months of active listing inventory repeatedly in this video, we will just call it the inventory. The inventory has more than doubled from 1.8 in March 2018 to 4.2 in December 2018. However, seasonally lower sales numbers from September to December have contributed to the raising numbers. With increasing listings, we predict that the sales numbers will go up as well. In 2019, we should again surpass 3,000 home sales from March to August, and in order for the inventory to hit the neutral six months, we will need about 18,000 active listings. This means that we have to more than double the number of active listings to get there. If we add 1,000 additional net listings per month, and that is a big if, it is unlikely that we hit six months worth of inventory until the winter of 2019. So don't look for price drops in lower price ranges anytime soon. By January 11th of 2019, the number of active listings is actually down by 250 from December, so it is very unlikely that we add 1,000 net listings in January. Those buyers who can't wait for price drops will not like what we are saying and dislike this video. That is just fine, and we will appreciate your participation, but please add a comment about what you disagree with. The median price of Las Vegas homes is at $298,500 and has not changed much since September, 
which has been normal except for the big listing crunch years of 2017 to 2018, and has appreciated by 11.4% in 2018. However, the bigger listing inventory doesn't affect all price ranges the same. Las Vegas housing market for houses priced less than FHA loan limit. 60% of all home sales have been sold for less than the FHA loan limit of $314,000. The inventory for this segment has been about a month less than all homes and currently stands at three months. While inventory in this segment hasn't surpassed six months, don't look for any price drops. Houses that can be purchased with a conventional loan. Those who need a bigger loan need to get a conforming conventional loan with the loan limit of $484,350. 29.8% of all home sales are in this price range. The inventory in this price range is a month or two higher than those which can be bought with an FHA loan. The median price of houses that can be purchased with a conventional loan has been hovering between $365,000 and $370,000 for the past two years and hasn't changed much. Four to five months of inventory led to price per square foot by primary year to raise by $11, and two to three months led to an increase of $16 per square foot. Now, if you multiply these, for example, by 3,000 square feet, then you get about $33,000 to $48,000 in price gains for these houses. If price drops are ahead, they will come down in this price range much earlier than those that can be purchased with an FHA loan. So home prices are appreciating while the median price is virtually unchanged. Houses that are priced at $485,000 to $1 million. Only 10.2% of home sales are in this price range or higher. The inventory in this price range has been hovering around nine months for 2016. 16 and around seven months for 2017 before falling to around five months in 2018 and raising back in the last quarter. This chart shows the median price of homes sold in this period and it is practically unchanged. Now let's take a look at the price per square foot and it has ridden, albeit slow, risen albeit slowly. While we have had nine months worth of listing inventory in 2016 and seven in 2017, home prices didn't actually come down. Luxury houses priced higher than $1 million. Please see our detailed discussion in our Las Vegas luxury home market video, which we will not repeat here in order to save time. Las Vegas housing market forecasts for condos. The active inventory of condo listings stands at about 1,360, save December, which is expected. This number has just about doubled from January 2018. Please note the lower sales numbers after August, which in turn raises the months of listing inventory. The listing crunch for condos has been more severe than single-family houses, which in turn led to amazing price gains. Again, decreasing sales numbers after September have contributed to the big gain in the inventory. The median price of Las Vegas condos has hovered around $150,000 for the past quarter, save December, and it is an amazing 51% higher than only two years ago. If the unit sales match last year's, we need a net gain of 1,000 units to reach six months worth of listing inventory, so don't look for price drops in cheaper units until that happens. Las Vegas real estate market for townhomes. As we have mentioned before, the housing market for townhouses is similar to single family houses. The median price of Las Vegas townhouses is $205,500 and has appreciated by 10.8% for 2018. However, this number is $13,500 less than the high of September. But the price per square foot has not decreased at all, and the September number is actually $3 less than December. Again, we don't see any price drops in lower price ranges anytime soon. Conclusion. If you listen to the news or read newspapers, you see an abundance of comments about increase in listings and lower sales numbers, which should drive prices down. This can lead to the game of chicken. It is possible that buyers decide to wait for price drops and investors become scared enough to try to unload their units while the bidding is good. 
It is awfully difficult to make a prediction while we are in a transition period because we just don't know what will happen in the future. All we are doing is making an educated guess. However, the next quarter will decide what will happen to the Las Vegas real estate market. But one thing is certain, we will have small price gains for units that can be purchased by FHA mortgage and possibly conventional mortgage until the months of active listing reach six months, possibly the winter of 2019. But what happens afterwards is unknown at this time. Lastly, we have about $17 billion in new large commercial projects that are currently under construction here and billions more in smaller projects. The economy is currently on fire, so unless something drastic happens, demand will be going up unless the game of chicken is afoot. If you want to buy, sell, or invest in Las Vegas homes, condos, or townhomes, please call us at 702-478-7800. You can find our contact info and blog with the embedded video and video transcript in the video description. This was just one video. We have a lot more for you, like home buying tutorials, that discuss the buying process from A to Z. Just check out our website. Please like, share, and subscribe to our Las Vegas Real Estate channel for upcoming videos. On behalf of the Cyber Team, this is Karen Saberzadeh of Realty One Group and www.lasvegasforus.com wishing you a great day. Hallelujah.